Hi, welcome back. This is Wallace the Goat. He's having a sleep. I thought we'd look at the quantum world today. We've been talking a lot about anti-gravity and UFO drives, but what exactly is quantum physics? I, mean, I am not an expert. I know very little. It's just what I've read. But I know that it's strange. We live in a Newtonian world where everything is solid and we make it work. But when we look at the very small, the atomic world, it breaks down. The atom is not little stars with planets revolving around them. They're just mainly not there. There's a great story. When they split the atom, they describe trying to hit the solid bits of atoms as hitting a fly in the cathedral. And I think that very much describes how atoms are 99.9% empty space. But how does the quantum strange world transition into the perceived solid world which we live in? That's what we're going to look at today. I think the first thing to understand is that nothing really exists. Well, I mean, that's a bit of a big statement. <laughs> Let me try to explain a bit more. Everything is this energy. So, you know, you pick up a heavy lump of rock. It's just got slightly different energy to, say, some gas, which is very light and wispy. But the heavy stuff is made up of exactly the same stuff as the light stuff. It's just how we perceive it. We are very good at measuring energy levels. So, if everything really isn't there, why do we consistently perceive our physical reality in the same way? Well, a new theory has come out about Darwinian survival of the fittest of possibilities. So, the energy in an atom might make it do a whole range of different things. Just one of them would be to manifest itself as a lump of iron. It could be anything. One of the fundamental rules of quantum mechanics is by looking or measuring something, you actually make it exist. The mere act of observing a particle makes it manifest itself in a certain way. But why is this seemingly a quite a robust system when we look at a particle of, again, iron? It behaves all the time as a lump of iron. I've never picked up a nail and it's become jello, although it is also jello and iron at the same time. So here's my definition of the quantum world. Although everything has infinite possibilities and everything is just energy, there is a strong tendency for an atom to actually manifest itself in the same way all the time. Whether this is just a human thing, and it's different in different parts of the universe by different species, I really don't know. But I want you to think about this. If nothing really exists, how do we actually build stuff? I think our perception of reality, where in the quantum world something manifests enough of the time to be stable to call it, say, a lump of iron, we can then forge it into the Titanic. Or a car, where we drive down the street enough of the time without it disappearing. But if we mess with this quantum world, everything dissolves. Space time, reality, the hardness or softness of material, 
and suddenly we can leap around the universe with no bounds. Although it's very hard to imagine a machine that could achieve this, as a thought experiment, it's very possible. So I'm going to leave you with this thought. Nothing really exists. We're all just energy, and everything is just a probability. Because the truth is out there.